Hello families, this is Miss Mancini. I thought it would be helpful to provide a video regarding using Google Classroom as both a student as well as a guardian who may want to sign up for access. So to begin, Google Classroom is being used in grades five through eight. It is a platform for assignments, news, and so forth. The system is linked to your child's school Gmail account. Everyone's Gmail has been activated and it ends in at bedminsterschool.org using their first and last initial and some numbers that go after it. The parent portal for Google Classroom recently changed, so I wanted to walk you through that first. At this point, everyone has received an email that looks similar to this. I can send it again if you did not receive it, but also check your spam. In order to receive weekly summaries, as well as to view the classwork page for families, you need to have this set up. So once you receive this uh, email from Google Classroom, you press accept and it will bring you to a window that looks like this. Make sure that your parent email is here and then press accept. At this point, the system gives you various options for how you would like to view your students' activity. Now, this is just for email summaries so far. You can receive an email summary either weekly, daily, or no summaries at all, but it is a great tool to see how your child is doing, if there is something that was not turned in. Obviously, you could use Genesis as well, but this is something that a few families have found helpful in the past. Obviously, you would need to fix your time zone according to where you are. Usually, it syncs up with um, your computer system, but if not, you could just fix that. And then uh, if you want to find out more about the summaries, there's a link here. I did send this out via email, but these are the things that you can find. It will go over the email su summary system and you can take a look at how to remove yourself or unsubscribe and so forth. Now we're going to look at the Google Classroom interface from both a student perspective as well as one from a guardian who has set up an account with weekly summaries or turn them off. It still allows you to sync. So this is a student view. Your children will have multiple classes listed. Sometimes you just have to scroll down. There's a preview usually um, on the screen that shows things that are upcoming. When your child goes into Google Classroom, regardless of what teacher it is, you will see what's known as a stream. A stream is just a place where teachers can put information, announcements, bonus activities, and reminders. Some teachers also have a setting that is put on where every time an assignment is posted, it will go here in the stream, but I prefer to turn that off and leave the stream just for some bonus things and news. Classwork is where all work for classes will be posted. I do believe in math, they use the big idea system for this, but if Google Classroom is being used, um, which it is just as far as I can tell you in social studies, science and ELA, and sometimes math, uh, you'll find all the work here. It can be sectioned off depending on topics. If the teacher has set up topics, I like to just scroll down. But in ELA, right now we have a section for book talks. All current assignments will be here for the week. Then I have some notes here, class info, including a link to my website, the grading policy and so forth, test quizzes, bonus activities. And then every week, usually on Monday, I will take assignments from the previous week 
and I will put them here. Sometimes you have to click view more in order to see them all, but old assignments will be there according to marking period. When a student has to turn something in, it's very, very simple. They would click on the assignment. I prefer to number my assignments for easy reference. When they click in the assignment, directions are usually there, but um, there's another button for viewing them in a different screen or they can go directly into the task itself. So this is the bigger screen and then they would go into the assignment, whatever it may be, and they can access it from there. Usually it will be something that relates to Google Docs or Google Slides. When the student is finished, all they have to do is press turn in. Some assignments though are on IXL or let's say Blukit, something like that. And what students would have to do um, is complete the task. For example, here's an assignment that's due tomorrow where they need to work in IXL. When they're done, there isn't a turn in button, but there's one that says mark as done. And that will signify that they have finished the assignment. From a parent's point of view, once you have set up the guardian access, a teacher would provide you with a link. I have sent this link out in a recent email. The link will allow you a little bit more access as a parent as to, you know, opposed to what they used to do. They used to just have the option of sending email summaries. Now you actually can go into a modified version of the Google Classroom as a guardian. Um, there's some more information here. I did send this out. Again, this is about email summaries. And then it is technically called the Guardian Preview Links. And this will only be available if the teacher sends you that link. So again, for ELA, I did send this out. The uh, classwork preview for Guardians looks very, very similar to what your child will see. It's organized the same way. You can see all of the activities and so forth, but you have limited capabilities. Obviously you can't turn something in because you're not in the class, but you can go in, you can see directions. Um, I believe if there is something that's scored, you will see a score. Uh, you know, for example, if this quiz was scored, um, I'm on a dummy account right now, but if it was scored, you would see that score. But just know all grades go in Genesis anyway, regardless of class and regardless of how you're looking at Google Classroom. So you have two options when you want to help your children at home or to monitor their progress. Genesis is the number one place to go, and every parent has a Genesis account. Students have accounts this year as well. If you would like weekly or daily email summaries from Google Classroom, you can set that up. Or you can do this new option of viewing classwork as a guardian for your child. You can also make sure that you have access to your student's account and go in that way. Now as fifth graders, we're trying to transition them to the middle school. So there is some more independence put on them. But obviously as a parent, you want to be able to monitor how they're doing. So it may be helpful to simply have their account information and you know, pop in once in a while. It's really up to you and your family as far as what you decide. The only other area that I wanted to quickly show you is something called ClassLink. ClassLink is new to the district. It replaced Clever, and it is a login system that is supposed to simplify things um, to help students. If your child is not logged into ClassLink, they should do that when they first open their computer each day, and then they can just take the tab and you know hide it, minimize it. But uh, they should be logged in because that will give them full functionality. All they do is click sign in with Google, and they click their Bedminster account, and then it opens up this page. Sometimes it asks you to search for school, 
and then you press your school, but uh, I've used it a couple of times. So they have something that's similar to this. This is our teacher section, but uh, ClassLink will allow them to go directly into, you know, IXL or whatever it may be, uh, and it's just another way to log in. If they ever have issues accessing IXL, they should try ClassLink first, log in, it will bring them to um, their dashboard, and when they have an assignment, for example, the IXL assignment for this week, uh, sorry, it was right here. As long as they're logged in through ClassLink, then they can click on this link and it will bring them directly to the assignment that they're working on, for example, complete subject and complete predicate. So if you have any tech issues, my number one uh, suggestion would be to make sure that your child is logged in on ClassLink. Uh, and again, if you just have that ClassLink you know, tab open somewhere in the background, it'll prevent a lot of issues. This is not a system that you know, I, I'm employing. It's something that the district has decided to use this year and it's supposed to simplify things. I hope that these two videos have helped and if you have any other questions, feel free to email me.